Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This love reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, so just keep that in mind. Um, with that being said, Pisces, let's just hop into your reading. Okay, your overall message is the Groundhog Spirit. I'm going to be honest with you guys, and I've tried to record this a couple of times um, for your message. And just in general, trying to record your reading, period. It's been hard because I feel like Pisces, you know, the fact that you have the groundhog spirit, this is all about needing to let go of something. Um, now, time to let go, that, that's what it is. So there is something here that you need to let go of. I feel like it's something that's been causing you a level of pain for some of you. Some of you guys, it's definitely a relationship or multiple people. I think there's pride involved. There may be multiple people. Um, and I feel like for you, it's it's time to let things go. Like, there's something here that has to be let go of. And for whatever reason, you're holding on to it. But what the universe is telling you is that if you continue to hold on and you do not let go of what you need to, right, which could be any negative attachments, it can be alcohol, it can be an attachment to a person, it could be a multitude of things, right? But if you don't let go of that, what's going to happen is the universe is going to come in and do it for you, and it's going to be a tower moment. So it's better that you guys release it now than wait, because there is something here. Now, whether that's you guys finally breaking your silence and coming forward and communicating something, um... But I really do feel like it's something emotionally that's bogging you down. And the thing about it is, once you release it, everything has to end in order for something new to begin. And that's kind of like the message here. And I feel like there is something big coming for you, but I feel like it's coming for you in the spring. Okay. Or there may be some type of renewal in the spring or something like that. All right. Let's just hop into your reading. What's the overall energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love and romance? Overall energy for Pisces. Okay. Four of Cups is here. Who is Pisces dealing with romantically? Who is Pisces dealing with romantically? Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces or a Sag. This person is highly intuitive, I feel like. Um, and who, how does Pisces feel about this person? How does Pisces feel about their person of interest? Three of Pentacles. This is somebody that you do want to make it work with. There's Capricorn energy, Cap Mars and Capricorn to be exact. And what's the, okay. Here's the situation. It's the Eight of Cups. So uh, there you are, Pisces. Um, I think the Eight of Cups, I think that that's Saturn in Pisces. And what is the best potential outcome here for Pisces romantically? Okay, very soon. There is some type of separation, but they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. There's something that's coming for, for you that you're not expecting, that you don't see. And I feel like it's a very good and a, and a very healthy type of situation. Okay, let me just clarify these and we can hop right into it. Why is the Four of Cups here? Or what, what's the overall energy for love and romance for Pisces? Overall energy, love and romance. Okay, photograph. Who is Pisces dealing with romantically? Who is Pisces dealing with romantically? Okay, separation. Like I said, I feel like there's somebody here that you've not spoken to. I feel like there's a lack of communication here. Feelings are being um, withdrawn. Feelings are being repressed here. How does Pisces feel about their person of interest romantically? Boat. And what is the current situation between these two? What is the current situation between these two romantically? Pisces and this person. Okay. Mask. It's interesting because you also have twin flames here too. Here's what I think. 
Pisces, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it's you or them, but I do feel like there's an issue in this relationship because somebody sabotages it constantly. It's the same thing over and over and over again. You and this person go through the same cycle. It's like they're sabotaged, you rebuild it, boom, it breaks. Then somebody tries to work for it, and then they're very persistent, and then they give up. And then it's like the same type of situation over and over and over again. And I feel like it's because somebody has a way of thinking where they feel like this situation can't work out. Now, as far as your current situation is concerned, again, I feel like there's a lot of emotions here, right? I feel like there's a sense of sadness. I feel like, Pisces, you're being offered different things by other people, but it's not what you want. And I feel like because you and this person who is your twin flame, I feel like, because there is a strong connection here, I feel like because of that, it's like, they're the only ones that you think about. And I feel like you miss them. And you miss making memories with them. And I feel like there's something here where you're looking at their pictures. Like there's a lot of reminiscing about the past. Why is the Four of Cups here? With temperance reversed. I, I, I just feel like this month, there's not a lot of balance here. I, I, I feel like usually Pisces, you have good and you have bad. And I feel like right now is a time where... Somebody is not balanced and they're not even balanced like at all, especially with temperance here, right? I also feel like with temperance being reversed, this is being stuck and it's like, you don't know where the future is going to go. So how do you plan for it? Right? And I feel like for you, you're trying to figure out how to regain a level of stability and also consciously release whatever is not serving you anymore. Because the reality is this, once you're able to flip this temperance upright, that is a period of rebirth. That's where everything slows down and you can actually see all the magic that's going on right now. And that's a time where you trust your intuition. Right now, I feel like that's not the case with you at all. I think that right now you're not seeing the magic that comes when it, when it has to do with like relationships and that type of thing. One more card here, please. Some of you may be dealing with a Sag or a Sag may be playing games with you. You also have Cancer here as well. The lovers wanting to flip up. Gemini's here. Wow. Okay. Eight of Wands with the world reverse. You see all your major arcana are reversed right now. Um, and I feel like it has to do with you being in your head. I do. About partnership. Here's the funny thing, though. You want to communicate with them that you're not ready to let them go. This is something that you want to hold on to. This is not something that you're okay letting go of. Um, you have Scorpio here, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, as well as Capricorn. I just feel like possibly some of you may be dealing with the cancer, too, like heavy, like you're having a hard time. You're going back and forth here. It's like you, you you can't see clearly with what's going on. And it's because your eyes are shut. Like you're not acknowledging. There's something here you have to acknowledge, Pisces. And I feel like you're not doing it. Okay. One more card here for their overall energy this month. Five of Wands. Again. Challenges. This is a conflict. This is multiple people. Um, you know, this has to do with ego, too. I feel like there's a lot of people that are involved here. I feel like somebody needs to make a decision. I also feel like it's almost like a battle of the egos, where maybe Pisces, it's like one side is it's my way or the highway, and I'm not going to communicate until things get to the right place. And then the other side is trying to manifest something and trying to manifest love. So I don't know what side you fall on. But there is something here about some type of conflict when it comes to balance, when it comes to stability. Who your person is, um, they're coming up as the high priestess with the nine of wands. So here's uh, moon and Sag, and you have um, Taurus here, Cancer, Pisces. I think that this person 
for for one thing, I feel like they've been through a lot, right? The Nine of Wands to me is somebody that's been through a lot and they're they're tired, right? It's like they've decided they wanted intimacy. They've made their choice. They've had the foresight. They've had that love with you. Now they have the conflict. You know what I mean? Then there's recognition. They had to stand their ground with something. You know, things needed to change. And now finally, it's like they're at a place where there's space between you and them and they're not communicating. I feel like your person is also very sad. I think that they're missing you. And I think I, I feel like they think about you a lot and this person is unsure what's going to happen with your future. The magician is here. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, or Aries. You know, this person is somebody who likes to figure things out. This is your person is somebody who's very strong. Your person is also somebody that understands the potential of life. They understand having clarity, prosperity, and intimacy. What do you want me to tell them about their person of interest? The Nine of Cups. I feel like your person is doing what makes them happy right now. That's what I think. Because how would Pisces feel about this? How would Pisces feel about this? The Seven of Wands. I'm going to be honest, Pisces. I feel like your person has waited for you, waited for that level of communication. And I feel like it's at a point right now where they're just like, I'm, I'm upset that I miss you. I'm upset that things are the way that they are. But at the end of the day, they want to make themselves happy. They, they want to figure out, or right now, they're doing that. They, they're having a level of emotional fulfillment. I feel like they're providing that for themselves. They are the magician. And I don't think you like that, Seven of Wands. Because I feel like they're standing their ground with you. I feel like this person is requiring something of you. Okay, how does Pisces feel about this person? I feel like, Pisces, you're surprised at how much you want to work with this person. I think that this person gives you what you need. I feel like there's a level of progression here. But I also feel like there's closure. There's closure issues. I think that you guys haven't had a conversation about whether or not this can work. And I think because of that, this has been left open and that's why there's closure issues. I think that you're surprised at how this person is operating, but at the same point in time, I feel like, you know there's something here where you have to leave it alone for a period of time. What do you want me to tell Pisces about how they feel about this person? Nine of Swords. I think you're just surprised. Like, you're tired of surprises. Page of Cups to me is a surprise. Why is the Page of Cups here? I feel like you see something, Pisces, that you don't like. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Something here is no longer working. I think you're surprised because I feel like you and this person go through that cycle, right? And for whatever reason, that cycle isn't valid anymore. This is Virgo reverse. This is Eight of Pentacles reverse. It, this, it, it's like you feel like it's not working anymore. Like... Like, the hard work, it's gone. Like, this person is no longer working on it. I also feel like with the Nine of Swords here, it's like you're in your head. There's anxiety because you're shocked at the fact that things aren't working the way that you thought they were. Because I think for you, you always felt like this person was very determined to be with you. Like, there was an energy of this. me to tell them one more card for how they feel about this person ten of wands okay saturn and sag um the emperor energy keeps coming up i feel like this person is walking away or you've walked away from them it's just too much it's a completion it's a burden it's like things didn't work okay fine fuck it i'm packing my bags and i'm leaving there's not there's nothing left to do here because they're over here like i waited for you I, I waited for you, Pisces, and then, you know, you didn't come. So I had to make my own reality here with the Magician and the Nine of Cups. I had, I had to generate my own happiness because I do think that they put their happiness in you for a period of time. I am going to say this. I think 100%, Pisces, um, 
your person loves you without a shadow of a doubt. I, I, I think that they are in love with you. I think that they understand the bond, the connection, especially with that high priestess here. This is something very destiny based, but it's like too much time between you and them. It's too much. Some of you may actually be walking away from a Sagittarius or a Virgo. But I just feel like it, it's, it's walking away. I feel like it's time to let go of the baggage. It's time to let go of the toxicity. It's time to let go of whatever is causing you conflict in your life. That, that's what I feel. Okay. The current situation, you have the Eight of Cups. Um, what's the Eight of Cups? Okay. The Eight of Cups that the Hermit wanted to, to, wanted to come out. What is the Eight of Cups walking away from? Okay. The Eight of Swords. What are they walking towards? What are they walking towards here? Some of you may be walking away from a Gemini. Jesus. What are you walking towards? The Seven of Swords and Aquarius. Um, <laughs> fuck. God damn it, Pisces. I love you guys. I hate when you guys have bad readings. I just feel like this. I, I, I think somebody is not showing how they really feel. You and this person obviously have a soul connection, obviously have a soul tie with the twin flames. That's something that can't be denied, right? You like each other equally. There's a level of duality between the two of you. However, there's too much confusion here. There's too much that's left up to chance. And there's, there's something here that's not been solidified. And I feel like because there's not been that um, clarity with, hey, this is what we're doing, A, B, C, D, and E. Hey, this is how I feel. Hey, this is what I want. Hey, I'm sorry. Whatever it is, I feel like you're, it, you're walking away. There's change. The problem is, whatever's changing, this Eight of Swords, I feel like the conversation that you have not had with this person, I feel like you're going to have that conversation, okay? You're walking away from being stuck in your head. You're walking away from that sense of isolation. However... You're, what's, what's being walked towards is the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords for me, and this is Moon and Aquarius, that, that's kind of a gnarly energy for me. I hate the Seven of Swords. That's like one of the cards I hate the most. I just feel like somebody's creeping, somebody's lying. Um, why is the Seven of Swords here for what, for what Pisces is walking towards with this person, with the devil, okay? It's like there's lies here, Empress reversed. I just feel like somebody is lying about what they want their commitment to be. I think that somebody is lying about what they can do. Five of Swords here with the Page of Pentacles. Um, again, conflict. And Five of Swords is Venus in, in, in Aquarius. I just feel like there's a level of defeat here. I feel like somebody tried to play games and they played themselves. I don't know if it's your person. I don't know if it's you, but I do feel like one of you guys played games and it's come back and it's hurt because it was petty, right? It's something so small. And because somebody couldn't do that, it's like, why, why would you do that? Like, I don't know. I feel like your person of interest, to be honest, I feel like they're purposely trying to trigger you. They're purposely trying to make you upset. It's like this person is no longer in their head and they're purposely doing things to upset you, purposely doing things to bother you. And anytime I see a page here with that five of swords or with that seven of swords, it's stupid. Because it's all petty. It's all bullshit. It's immature. It's a level of immaturity. You have the Empress reverse. It's like, why? There's something here where somebody's no longer giving to a relationship. It's reverse. They're no longer nurturing that. They're, they're, they're putting attachment somewhere else. With that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.